Bonnie's still alive in there? And these guys are just holding him hostage? I'm gonna take them out. Gotta free Bonnie. Bonnie's still in there. You will no longer hold my Bonnie. My rabbit friend is gonna get freed. This is for you, Bonnie. This is the last one. It's time to destroy you. It's time to free Bonnie. And it's time to get the good ending. <laughs> Too many Christmas. <laughs> Bonnie. Deep within the FNAF Ruin files, a secret fourth ending has been found. How do we get it? Who does it involve? And is this finally the true happy ending to Security Breach Ruin? Today we're going to be answering this question, baby, and much more. Because what we find out about Glamrock Bonnie is going to absolutely blow your mind. Oh. Hello, hello. Uh, well, if you're hearing this, then... Like and subscribe! Pardon our mess! We'll be back soon! Oh, Fazbear Entertainment, please, please never ever change because you keep wanting more profits because you keep reviving these pizza plexes and pizzerias and your boy keeps having more games to play. And the lore is so juicy, it's so spicy. Honestly, the future of FNAF is so good! Anyway, I reckon because of all these boxes over here, all these forklift trucks, all these packing crates, they are planning on building another pizza Plex. I mean, at one point, this place was a major, major money pit, and it was very popular. We saw that in teasers, the Rockstar anim or the Glamrock animatronics performing for hundreds, if not thousands, of people, and they're going to chalk this whole incident up to earthquakes. They're going to chalk it up to earthquakes so they don't even have to hide any of the shenanigans that have been going on down here. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. I love the Fazbear industry. Anyway, today is going to be another spicy episode full of myths, especially to do with Glamrock Bonnie and the secret fourth ending that nobody has found yet. So as always, if you're hyped for another episode of Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruin Myths, then please go ahead and smash that like button. And hey, if you're looking forward to playing this game for yourself, but you don't have the base copy of Security Breach, then I'm still running a competition. I'm going to be drawing the winner soon, so enter while you can. So if you would like to win a copy of FNAF Security Breach because you need the base copy to play the free DLC, all you need to do is down in the comment section below, leave me a comment. The comment could be absolutely anything. So just tell me who your favorite FNAF character is or when you joined the FNAF franchise. Also, remember to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel with notification bell on because we are doing so much FNAF on this channel. The future is looking amazing. We've got Help Wanted 2, we've got the movie coming out, and we've got all the future games. And as I've already said, this DLC has kind of pointed towards some more Ruin or at least Security Breach 2 stuff coming in the future. So that is very, very exciting. And I know you're loving it, so please go Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So yes, to enter the competition, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Now, the first myth, a lot of been te people have been telling me that this Roxy plushie, or there's a Roxy plushie in this first prize area, actually has a secret to do with it. So let's check that out. Cool. Oh! So she just says cool. Okay. So that begs the question because we don't get a, we don't get a prompt. Does she do the same thing with Freddy? Not with Freddy. I mean, we already know that Roxy is her favorite, and she's interacted with Roxy in the past. We see that, and Roxy is basically her savior as well. Does this, this one do anything? Nope. She just says cool to do with Roxy. So that leads me to believe there's a lot of secrets in this game that we have not found yet. And I mean tons of secrets. There was another um, plushy, uh, plush baby that you could interact with, and she just laughed and disappeared. We had that in my general playthrough. Go back and check it if you haven't already. I think it was part two. Maybe even three. So that means that there's probably more items like this that don't have some sort of command prompt that you have to just click E or the action button depending on where you're playing the game. And there's going to be so many more secrets. There's a potential huge amount of secrets left in this game. So please, if you've got any of your own myths or experiments that you would like to give me, please pop them down in the comment section below. I've got a load to be getting on with today, but that was the first one. And I think that's very important because there's so many secrets left to find in this game, including the secret fourth ending. We've got to find out what they are. And especially, I'm looking for clues to do with Glamrock Bonnie and more secrets to do with him. Because the stuff that we've uh, people have found already in the game, especially us on this channel, we I don't think that's the end. I think there's more to Glamrock Bonnie. His disappearance is too mysterious and it's still not fully explained. Anyway, on to the next myth. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to FNAF Cribs. Here, right in front of us, we have got Vanessa Stank Hole, where she used to live. I can't believe she used to live like this. This is crazy. Anyway, there's a couple of interesting things in here I would like to check out and explore more. But first of all, does this show anything? So I love that this fella's here. Absolutely love it. He's brilliant. Anyway, 
Behind that door normally is the catwalk that goes across the Phaser Blast, which is cool and it's obviously been boarded up and destroyed. They don't want people going across there anymore. But let's come and have a look over here. We've not really explored this place properly. And there was, yes, here it is. So I saw somebody talking about this in the comment section below as well. There's a book over here. What does that say? World history. There is the FNAF world history. Let us inside that book. Let us inside that book and tell us all your secrets. Although, let's face it, the secrets are probably lies because it's the Fazbear industry. I mean, they're going to chalk up the whole events of security breach and ruin to the earthquake, which technically is true because the blob is burrowing its way underground for some reason and just hiding. So yes, all the sinkholes are caused by the blob and it does make sense, but you've just given the Fazbear industry another out and it is, was Vanessa sleeping on boxes? That's mad. I can't believe she lived like this. How long did she live like this? Anyway, her computer has been taken out and it's been absolutely destroyed. Is there any other secrets? Anything else important in here? Um, obviously, we have got right here the Princess Quest minigame has got a big old sword through it because Cassidy, or uh, as Cassidy, we defeated the uh, glitch trap and it uh, freed Vanny. And this here proves that the, the canon ending to Security Breach was actually the uh, free Vanessa ending in which everybody lives happily ever after. And again, to show this, we've destroyed it. And over here, you have got the um, your glitch trap hiding on the wall as if he's just been burned. His shape has just been burned in there because the machine has exploded and it's just gone pow and uh, he's whether he's vacated Vanessa's body or whatever hold he had over Vanessa either way it's gone and on the wall if we put the mask back on we've obviously got the the, the mysterious creature that was representing after well a glitch trap whether you believe the glitch trap was actually William Afton or the mimic either way they are there but this here being on the wall over here after being blasted about after being defeated inside the game but then on here kind of suggests that maybe it was the Mimic, and the Mimic has escaped, or that part of the Mimic has escaped from inside the game, or inside Vanessa, and has gone somewhere else, and that somewhere else is through this vent, or through the void, or wherever. It kind of suggests the fact that there's two of them, that maybe the Mimic has gone somewhere else. I love the Mimic. I think the Mimic is a very good idea, and there's a lot of videos that I want to do on the Mimic, and a lot of exploring, which we're going to do in this video as well, to do with the Mimic's lair, and what's downstairs. We also checked out the Mimic's lair itself. Uh, in yesterday's video, so please go and check that out as well. We've found some very, very cool things. Anyway, it's a good job we're in this area. I think we're done for Vanessa's room itself. There's a lot of particles coming off this desk. I don't know if that's to show that there was some sort of uh, area of glitchiness before. But I love this. I love that Steel Wool has put all these little Easter eggs in the game to show us the way to the real ending. But let's go down into the vent and let's see what else we can do. There is a, obviously the Freddy that's down here in this zone that we want to go and explore because there's some very interesting lore and secrets to do with him. Here's another thing I wanted to check out. Who's left these messages here? The average person isn't going to go all the way through this place. The average person isn't going to go all the way through here leaving these messages. I think this is uh, Gregory and Vanessa that's left these messages because it's got um, Freddy's head and it's got Bad Bear written there, uh, Faz Fiend instead of Faz Friend, and it kind of strikes me that these are little messages that Gregory and Vanessa have probably left for people that come this far. Not necessarily Cassie, because they didn't know Cassie was going to come down here, but those messages are left for anybody that does make it this far, or if they have to send somebody in because they can't go in themselves and they have to fix the system to keep the mimic in place. I think that's a clue to, to tell us that uh, Freddy is not who he is. Here we go. This is the important thing I want to talk about. Let's not go through too far because we might end up um, waking Freddy up. So, this looks like Freddy's body over here. But if you have a look on the foot, it actually says prototype. It actually says prototype. Now, a lot of people have been wondering because normal glam daddy as we play in the game, we actually see underneath his little feetsies because we repair him. We do all the extra additions like we put on Monty's hands and Roxy's eyes and Chica's voice box. So we have him in parts of the service so we can see the bottom of his foot. But it doesn't have this prototype stamp. Now, this could be a couple of reasons. One, 
the prototype stamp might have just worn off over time and when he's been walking around and running about and stuff and obviously his body's been abandoned because you've got all these robots over here because even when you do save Vanessa, Freddy still gets ruined and, and, and attacked and ripped to pieces because v Vanessa has commanded it so, but we take Freddy's head away with us and we don't see Freddy's head in the game or on this model, so it could be the same Freddy. However, there is a second theory now, this is actually a different Freddy, and it's a prototype. It's the first version of Glamrock Freddy. Now, I will, I will show you why I think that this is possible just now, but I'm worried we're going to get jump scared. We're about to see. Now, have a look inside his tum-tum mouth jaw area. We've got a present box. You see the present box and it's not open. That present box is not open. And the colors are kind of different as well. So if we have a look, the present box is open. I love that jump scare, by the way. He just eats us. He just eats us. He puts us inside of his chest cavity and turns us into a twisted pretzel. Cassie is absolutely destroyed there. But that is one, and apparently the coloring's slightly different, but I don't know how I feel about the coloring being slightly different, because who knows how long this place has been abandoned. I mean, the way that the place has been ruined and wrecked is fully explained via the blob going about underground, making the tunnels, so it would quickly age and deteriorate because everything's getting ruined and wrecked. So, Freddy could have been in there a couple of months and without constant maintenance the, the and the rust and stuff like that. He would look like a slightly different colored Freddy. So, I'm not I'm not certain. I could go either way. Do you think this is the original Glam Daddy that somehow the the system is sending it after us? Because let's face it, Freddy doesn't know who we are. At the end of the day, this Freddy doesn't know who we are. He can't see. He can't function on his own. There's two different ways this could go. Somebody's possessed him because he can't work on his own because his head's not there. So how, how is his circuitry meant to operate the rest of it? The second thing is he somehow still has power and he can function, but in a very feral state, as we're about to see, because he just chases you, right? He just, he hears a voice. He, I don't know how he hears a voice, actually. He must sense the presence one way, shape, or another, and he just comes after you because at the end of the day, he doesn't know who we are. He doesn't know who we are. All he does is he hears a voice, and as far as he knows, Fre um, uh, Gregory and Vanessa have escaped, so anybody else that's in here is probably some sort of enemy. I mean, the security protocol system that's been put in place, who the the, the rabbit guy, MXES, or whatever he's called, we need a proper nickname for him, but they... Does he come down here? No, he doesn't. So, the, the security protocol that when we put the mask on and he comes and chases after us and stuff because he's trying to stop the Mimic from actually getting us, he obviously calls the animatronics towards us to put an end to us because he doesn't want us messing about with his system. So, he could just activate Freddy at the same time and that's why Freddy is sent after us. It's potential. I'm not certain which way around it is. Okay, we gotta run and do this. I love this feral Freddy, yo! Put the mask on, put the mask on, and we hide from him. He actually just disappears. What I'm if we go over here and take the mask off? Does he just reappear? Oh, he does! Okay! I suppose this mask actually is really good because it helps us. This is the mask that Vanny wore, and it hides you from the animatronic sight so they don't actually know you are here. Can I go back through there? I can. Hey, Freddy! <laughs> My man's! My man's is looking good. Well, he's not looking good. I lie. He does not look good. Does he follow me through here? I think he does. But anyway, that was a very interesting myth. Thank you very much to everybody who pointed that out. There was quite a few comments talking about Freddy actually being a prototype. It might not actually be the Freddy we know and love. If you have a look at them, those hands are Monty's hands. They're the big claws. I don't think they're originally Freddy's hands, so I think we have upgraded him. I might be wrong on that point. I don't know, but we can't tell about anything else because obviously the head's removed, so we can't see if the Roxy's eyes. So it's very difficult to tell which version of Freddy this is. Is it actually the original Freddy? 
I don't know. But the most interesting part of all is that present in the middle of his stomach hatch that we can see quite clearly here is it open. So that means this guy hasn't interacted with Gregory, and that means the Faz watch is still inside there, and it's done. So this could be a different Freddy. Let me know down in the comment section below. Anyway, see you later, Glamorous Daddy. Glamorous Step Daddy. I, I don't know. I don't know if you're my real bear or my step bear. Ah! Jiminy Christmas, why? I was here trying to do myths and theories and they send a little fella after me. Please, come on. I... Oh, my heart. My absolute heart. I thought I was done with these fellas. I mean, we're not done with these fellas because we're going to go up to Bonnie Bowling soon. But we've got other stuff to do. For this is... You're a horrible little beast. You are a horrible little beast. Go away. Just... Ah! Now, another very interesting thing that points again towards the canon ending being the Free and Vanessa ending is that apparently in the files, in the debug mode or something like that, it tells you what happened to these gates. And it was the blob, or I think as they're referred in the files as Tangle. Tangle broke through this gate here, which again, if the burn trap ending was the canon one, it was Gregory and Freddy that broke through them. And also, the gate that's over here in front of the elevator again was Tangle. Tangle that broke through it. So what the Tangle has obviously done is crawled up the elevator shaft at the end or, or at some between the ending of us uh, freeing, running away and freeing Vanessa and uh, the start of Ruin. The Tangle or Blob has crawled all the way up, burst through the gates and just wreaked havoc upon the Pretzaplex and that's why it's fallen into a massive sinkhole. Do you still think that the Burn Trap ending is the canon one? Now, some people have been speculating. I've seen this on Twitter as well. Sorry, I can't remember who commented it. But glowing mushrooms in a cave is apparently important in the Twisted Ones books. Something that I have not seen myself, but it's very interesting. So if you know anything about the Twisted Ones, let me know as well. I really need to go back and read some of these ones, especially Tiger Rock that's just released, and is it Lally's game that um, talks about the Mimic? So there's some book suggestions for you if you want to read up more about the Mimic before. Obviously the next game, or next tease or whatever's coming out next there is the uh, possibility of uh, stuff from those books coming true because it looks like at this point the books the tales of the pizza plex books are canon to the story which you know what i like i like that the supplementary info and i like that some of the stuff from the books is making their way into the game hey candy cadet you're looking good but we've got nothing to do with you anymore you've told me all of your stories apparently there's alternate endings to that but until i get voice lines or or find out how to do them, I, uh, we, we won't hang about with Candy Cadet. We already know what he's about. So, I'm pretty certain there's nothing there else to explore everywhere? in here. It's like the inside of an oven. So, the mimic was in here, or burn trap. Now, there's still a lot of debate about whether it's Afton that's inside Burn Trap, whether Burn Trap was even canon in the games, because if we have a look in the, in, in our, can we not look in our, uh, inventory? Let's look in the inventory real quick. Uh, all co AR collectibles, real collectibles. Because Gregory has gone through the store and he's, he's, he's laid a trail, basically. He's laid a trail, which is funny, by the way. As him and Vanessa have um, gone through the entire building, setting up these nodes as a security system to keep the Mimic from escaping, Gregory's been drawing all these pictures, presumably while Vanessa has been working hard, and he's drawn her an endgame and they just left it beside somewhere and obviously as he's gone he's created these endings which is very cute but he's also created this comic book page over here which is burn trap and the blob so at some point he's obviously seen the blob because the blob still exists in the game now he could have seen the blob at any point basically i mean we've seen him in the game you do see the blob that's why we know the blob is real the only person we've not seen is Afton, Burn Trap over here. So has he created Burn Trap from his imagination? Or at some point, did the mimic look like Burn Trap? Because that was the program he was mimicking at the time, Afton. And he's worn old spring bonnie parts or created them themselves. I don't know. I don't know. Or was it just something that he made up? Because the mimic has the ability to change how their endoskeleton looks. So they can be tall, they can be short, they can look like whatever they want. So it's a possibility that A, Gregory has made that up completely. B, Burn Trap was always real and it was the Mimic who, or who was looking like the Mimicking Afton. Or 
uh, it, it was actually Burn Trap, and Burn Trap has been destroyed some way, shape, or form. But that would be the least satisfactory ending because it doesn't make any sense why there's the Mimic and Burn Trap. That's just too much. I think the Mimic did look like Burn Trap. I think Burn Trap was the Mimic. I don't think we encountered the Mimic in the game. In Security Breach, I don't think we encountered... Uh, there's more glowing mushrooms, by the way. I don't think we encountered Burn Trap canonically as Gregory. I think Gregory has seen Burn Trap at some point, probably when he's trapping him behind this door over here. That makes the most sense. And that's why Gregory, along with seeing the blob at some point, can create that ending. I mean, they're trying to hide the blob. Uh, uh, they're trying to hide the mimic. So wouldn't it, in Gregory's mind, make sense for the blob to just take out Burn Trap or the mimic, and then that's them done. That's Gregory's fantasy land. Uh, it still doesn't make sense why Gregory has uh, uh, depicted an ending where Vanessa gets ripped apart by robots. <laughs> that is just a savage ending. She's over here creating a very complex security system and he's like la 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 bye bye vanessa anyway speaking of gregory this backpack over here i think a lot of people have surmised or guessed that this was gregory's and it's beside a vent which this vent apparently leads in, into the mimics room it makes sense because we do see a vent on the left hand side and there's some sort of hand print here is this a print is this mud or is this actually like a it doesn't look like a scraping so it looks like probably mud so it looks like because the Mimic has Gregory's walkie-talkie, Gregory and Vanessa have come down here. This is the final note, or or this is the first one, probably, actually, and they've set up checkpoints as we, they exit the building. So this is the first one, and this is where they trap the Mimic. The Mimic has escaped from the Afton area along here. I mean, it's not far. It would be easy to lure him along here. Gregory's probably tried to escape via the vent after luring the Mimic in, because the Mimic wants to know what's going on and to try and escape, and um, that's what's happened. So Gregory's escaped. He's probably just abandoned his bag, and that's when the Mimic... Uh, Gregory's probably lost his walkie-talkie. Mimic has heard how Gregory sounds, because Gregory and Vanessa were probably talking to each each other when they were setting up this system to trap him and that's why Greg, uh, the Mimic can mimic Gregory and the walkie-talkie, obviously, Gregory's left. So Gregory obviously left in a hurry because he's left his backpack as well. And the reason we know this is Gregory's backpack because he's got his name on the bottom right-hand corner. Now, massive shout-out to Antom over on Twitter. They are an absolute legend. Please go and follow them. Down in the description below, the link to their Twitter will be there. But they saw that deep on the bottom side of the bag was Gregory's name. Gregory's name is written down the bottom, so that confirms that Gregory has come all the way down here. And that's why the Mimic knows what Gregory said like and that's how the uh, the mimic got a hold of the walkie-talkie and that's how the mimic was able to learn that um cassie was his friend or something like that whether he probably heard gregory and vanessa talking about friends and stuff like that and how gregory has a friend called cassie but vanessa might even know cassie because cassie's dad has clearly worked for this uh, company as well so vanessa probably knows cassidy uh, cassie's dad and from there uh, she's had birthday parties and stuff so vanessa was sentient she was alive she, she even though she had the personality of the mimic inside her as, as glitch trap as vanny whatever you want to describe it as Kat, vanessa probably still had friendships inside there and she would have known that roxy uh, the cassie had a party and it would have been famous probably that nobody turned up at this kid's party so she would have known who they were so that's very cool that's very cool and explains why the mimic obviously knows about Gregory and how he can lure the Cassie in to then steal her body or escape or whatever it is. I mean, as soon as we knock down that wall, there's nothing left to keep the Mimic in. There's nothing left, so the Mimic can just escape. I don't know why the Mimic tries to endgame us. I don't know if it's to use us like Enner does and escape. We saw what happened to Enner. It's not going to work. Anyway, massive shout out to Enton for that. Speaking of other endings as well, this is very, very interesting. And again, it proves that Gregory didn't try an endgame game. Cassie and the mimic changed voice lines part the way through. So when you've got the elevator and you're in the elevator, everything's as well. It's not happy. Uh, Gregory's explaining to Cassie that the mimic was luring her in here. It wasn't her fault. I know you tried to save me, but we're going to have to drop the elevator. You can't escape, right? But the mimic cuts in there at some point, and now we've got Gregory's alternate ending. So these are the voice lines. These are Gregory's voice lines here. To save me, but make sure it doesn't follow you. You hear that there? 
Gregory does not want to end game Cassie. Gregory is still a hero. He's still her friend. It's the mimic that cuts in, sounding like Gregory once again with updated info on what Gregory sounds like and matches his speech pattern tremendously so well. We don't know that it's the mimic talking and it makes it sound like Gregory wants us gone. Mimic can't get out, so we have to end you both here. But Gregory actually just wants Cassie to run away, hide somewhere, and don't let the mimic out. At least give them time to 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 run another program to trap them in there. Put them behind some more concrete, whatever they need to do. So that's very cool. Gregory's actually a good, good boy, and the Mimic is a bad, bad man. Now, the ending as well, when the elevator drops down, we get the last line, which is Roxy speaking. Now... This is really cool because one that leads on to the fact that there's probably going to be some sort of extra DLC or maybe it teases help wa uh, help wanted. Uh, not Help Wanted 2, maybe there is something in Help Wanted 2. Um, Security Breach 2, or Ruined 2, or another DLC. It's not called Ruined, it's called Repaired. I don't know. But is that actually Roxy? Or is that now the Mimic? <laughs> Who knows at this point what person was speaking at that time? Either way... The Mimic has tried a different tactic here. The Mimic has gone from trying to end game Cassie to trying to do something else. They're, they're trying to portray Gregory as the bad guy here and probably trying to emotionally manipulate Cassie into showing the Mimic the way out. That's what's probably going to happen in um, help, the DLC 2 or whatever comes next. I thought that was very cool. Massive shout out to uh, uh, FNAF Lost and Found Media over on Twitter. If you have uh, any inclination to find more secrets, go and check them out. I like that, that alternative ending. I don't know how we get that alternative ending. I don't know if that's a good ending to do with something else that we need to do in the game. I mean, there's still things to find out to do with Glamrock Bonnie and to do with fixing Chican. If there's a possibility of fixing Monty, I don't know if that's possible, but it sounds like that's more of a good ending. So, to the elevator still crash with that ending maybe we get up and that just leads on to uh, Cassie trying to survive against uh, the Mimic at some point, maybe in the DLC. Who knows at this point? If you have any rumors or myths or experiments to do with getting that ending, let me know down in the comment section below. Now, it's time finally to talk about Glamrock Bonnie. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. My favorite place in the entire world, Glamrock Bonnie's home. Glamrock Bowling. I love it. I This is amazing that we can finally learn about Glamrock Bonnie. And and down in that room afterwards, we'll check it out. We get the final bit of lore to do with Glamrock Bonnie as well. But I still think there's so much more in this game. However, a lot of people have been telling me you can actually find Glamrock Bonnie in the game. Now, I know about Glamrock Bonnie, but I've not seen it yet. I've not seen him. But there's some experiments that I want to do to do with Glamrock Bonnie. Now, to get this ending, you have to go around and destroy all the the the, the pat pats, the little caution wet floor sign boys. And we always thought that, but it was kind of bugged out. The only way to get it is to go through the entire game, not missing any. And I've finally done that. So let's go into the game. Let's find Glamrock Bonnie. And let's all have a big dub together. A big dub, a big cry, because... We finally get to see our boy. We finally get to see our boy after all. Did he just turn to look at me? Sir? Sir? Please don't. I've already been jump scared by one of your brethren, and I don't want any more jump scares. Deep breaths. Okay, let's see if this actually opened the door. It has! Yes! Okay! Finally, the door is open! It's about time. It's about time this door was open. Thank you, Glamrock Bonnie. Thank you for letting me into your home. I tell you what, your home is not the best looking. Wow. It's just the back of the bowling alley. <laughs> Where all the balls go. Where all the fouls balls go to stay. Hey, oh, I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous to go in here. Are we going to finally get the Glamrock Bonnie ending? Are we going to finally get the ending we deserve? Is this the happy ending? We... Oh, no, this isn't a happy ending. Oh, boys. Boys, what's that? Are you protecting him? Is that what this is about? Is that what... Hey, oh, they're kind of judging me, though, aren't they? I mean, I have destroyed their brethren like a billion times. I'm very sorry, boy. I'm very sorry, boys. <laughs> I'm sorry for a lot of things in life. I'm sorry for your friend over here. I'm sorry for deactivating the rest of your boys as well, the friends. I had to. I had to. I don't know what has happened. They're protecting Glamrock Bonnie, right? Is that, is that what's happening here? They're protecting Glamrock Bonnie. Is there still something in his eyes? Is he still there? It looks like they're protecting him. Or, hold up, 
Is this maybe a system put in place by Vanny? Because we already know that Vanessa is very technically gifted because of all the protocol that's been put in place to protect the Mimic from escaping. So has Vanny done this? Because obviously we pretty much think that Monty... Oh, we're going to check the, the, the Baudet in a minute. We're going to see SI Bonnie over here. Pretty much that Monty was ordered to destroy... Bonnie, because Bonnie's clearly seen something. Bonnie's seen something that they shouldn't have seen, and they've decided to destroy them completely, endgame them, remove them from the picture, because let's face it, at the end of the day, Bonnie was a superstar. Bonnie has been around since the beginning of time, right? Because you had Fredbear and you had Spring Bonnie. Bonnie has been here since the beginning. So either the Fazbear Entertainment heads have finally gone, do you know what? Let's just cut ties from the rabbit. Let's get rid of the rabbit. We don't need the rabbit anymore. The rabbit is clearly a symbol of bad, okay? So then... They've decided to hide Bonnie and just never replace him. They don't know that what has gone on, the heads up, they probably don't know that Bonnie has been attacked and ruined by Monty. All they know is that Bonnie's disappeared. That's the official statement we got in the security breach. Bonnie wandered off towards Monty Golf and then went bye-bye. So they went, you know what? Let's just put Monty in. People seem to like Monty. Like, we just got somebody else there. We could just cut ties with the rabbit. We're done with them. And or Vanny has somehow persuaded them because Bonnie has seen something that is obviously really Im embedded in Bonnie. That is somehow in the chips, the core, and rather than create a new system complete wipe, they've just uh, just decided to get rid of it. I don't know. There's still so much to do with Glamrock Body we need to find, but hopefully we'll be able to find out here. Anyway, boys, um, excuse me. So, either they're protecting Bonnie from any further damage, because Bonnie's lights are on. Is Bonnie home? Hey, oh, Bonnie, you in? Can I give you mouth to mouth? <laughs> is Bonnie home? I don't know. Oh, is that a bowling ball? Somebody has cracked Bonnie over the top of the dome with a bowling ball. Is that what's happened here? I don't know. It doesn't look... I, well, I don't know what the inside of a bowling ball looks like, but it kind of looks like somebody's cracked Bonnie over the head with a bowling ball. And that's what's knocked him down. And then, if we have a look over here, these look like big scratch marks, don't they? Right there. That's a big old claw. Somebody's just... That is Monty's claw just absolutely delving down inside it. And we saw Freddy earlier on. They, those claws that were Monty's, that are now ours, they're big old claws. So, the fact that they could do some real damage does not surprise me. And then I think Monty, in a fit of rage, has grabbed some bowling balls and just gone to town. I mean, his head is, is, is caved in. Oh, Bonnie, but the lights are on. Is he still in there? Is he still kind of active and just can't move? Has he been paralyzed? Is that what... Are these boys holding Bonnie? Is Bonnie still alive in there? And these guys are just holding him hostage? I tell you what, I tell you what, I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna take them out. I'm, I, I, I gotta, I gotta, right? I've gotta take them out. I've gotta free Bonnie. Bonnie's still in there. This could be the new ending we're looking for. But I'm not gonna do that just yet. Let's keep looking around because if something happens, I don't wanna lose this room. Okay, so it's just, a, it's just a bunch of bowling balls. What's over this side? Nothing. That's just probably the other side. That would be the other side of the vent that we can see on the right hand side of of the door that we just used to get through into here. Okay, so the fact that these guys... I think these guys might be trapping him here. I think we've got a free Bonnie. I, Bonnie's lights are on. They are... They, Bonnie's still in there. Bonnie's... We've got a free Bonnie. We've got to free Bonnie. We've got to save Bonnie. It's about time we saved Bonnie. That's what I want to see. And that, yeah, that just leads onto the back of the bowling ball. Okay, I guess we've got to put the mask on, right? You will no longer hold my Bonnie. My rabbit friend is going to get freed. He deserves to be free. How could you keep him like this? This is for you, Bonnie. Sweet kisses for my baby boy. And here. <laughs> This is the last one. I'm sorry, little one, but you're the final seal needed to free my man. To free Glamrock Bonnie. I mean, his lights are on. You guys are clearly holding him hostage, so it's time. It's time to destroy you. It's time to free Bonnie, and it's time to get the good ending. <laughs> what was that? 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 Bonnie? What was that Bonnie? What was that Glamrock Bonnie? What was he doing? Why was he like that? What happened? Buddy? But are you there? I'm not here. Nothing's coming. What was that? 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 There's nothing here. There's, 
there's nothing here. What's going on? <laughs> I think I could cry. Oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Did we actually free Bonnie? Did we actually free Glamrock Bonnie's soul from inside that suit? I, I, I don't want to put the mask on, but at the same time. Ah! Go, 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 go. Take the mask off. Take the mask off. I can't. I panic it. I panic it. I panic it. Go, 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 go. Chimney Christmas. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but it was a horrible rabbit thing with legs. I don't get it. And he's not here. Does he follow me? He was definitely closer. Is he following? I don't, I don't know where he is. I don't, I don't know where he is. I don't know what's going on. Have we have we done something else? There's nothing here, so I don't think there's anything else that we need to... These guys are there. Bonnie? Was that like Bonnie's soul? It looked like a twisted rabbit creature. Was that Bonnie's like twisted rabbit? <laughs> ah! Ah! Too many Christmas. Ah! 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 Bonnie, please, 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 buddy, please. Is he coming for me? He's kind of like that other fella. So is he replaced that other fella? I don't know, but he doesn't look friendly. He doesn't look friendly, Bonnie. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this. This game has broken me. Officially broken me. Do I let him come to me? Do I let him come to me? I don't know. Do I just... I mean... I mean, we could, right? We could just let him come. Bonnie. Bonnie, you look, be oh, you look beautiful, Bonnie. It's the way he's twisting as well. I don't know what's happening. Please just put me out of my suffering. Please just put me out of my suffering. <laughs> hey, yo. Why is there just... Why is it just rolling credits? I'm so confused. That was amazing. That model in the game, the rabbit creature from I don't know where, somebody's worst nightmare, was so good. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. That was... That was spectacular. I love the Glamrock Bonnies in the game. I love that his eyes looked like they were lit up and that he was still in there but just couldn't move. He was paralyzed via some sort of ritual with the, 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 the security pat-pat bots. The caution bots and you had to deactivate them to free him. I think there's still so much to do with Glamrock Bonnie that we're not finding out. Let me know down in the comment section below your myths, your experiments. I'm exhausted. What a video! Special thanks to DJ Starf. Thank you very much, Starf. I rarely encounter bugs. I basically had like one bug the entire time in which I fell through the map, and that was it. So thank you very much for your quality testing, Starf. You're a legend. I love you. You're a fantastic person. Now let's see if we get a secret ending. Are we going to get anything here? No, we're not. It's just going to end there. Bonnie Endgame dust, and that was it. <laughs> I love it, though. Well, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that was another FNAF Ruin episode. If you did enjoy today's video, then please go ahead and smash that like button. It really, really is appreciated. And hey, give me your myths, theories, and experiments. Please, a massive shout out to Full Tilton for helping me out with this episode. And a massive shout out to everybody that I talked about over on Twitter for your for your findings as well. All the links will be down in the description below. Absolute legends, a lot of them. Right over my face just now, there's going to be another couple of videos I know you will enjoy. And probably even the next video in which we're going to be focusing on glam rock bonnie some more either way i've been rasbowski you've been the beautiful raspberries as always for watching and i love each and every single one of you goodbye